President Biden kicked off a global Earth Day summit with a pledge to cut U.S. coal and petroleum fumes in half by 2030. And the president hopes China, among other countries and companies, will follow suit. CBS's Deborah Alfaron reports that it also marks a return uh, by the U.S. to global climate efforts. leaders showed up on screen as President Biden set out to prove the U.S. is back in the climate fight. The United States sets out on the road to cut greenhouse gases in half, in half by the end of this decade. President Biden called it a moral imperative, recommitting to goals set by the Paris Climate Agreement, which the U.S. left during the Trump administration. No nation can solve this crisis on our own, as I know you all fully understand. All of us all of us, and particularly those of us who represent the world's largest economies, we have to step up. The White House says this can happen in part by eliminating all carbon emissions from the country's generation of electricity by 2035 and by cutting energy costs with new investments in energy efficient upgrades to buildings. President Biden will need Congress to pass his $2 trillion infrastructure plan in order to launch some of these changes, and right now it has no Republican lawmaker support. They're offering up their own infrastructure plan today. China's President Xi Jinping followed President Biden at the summit. His country is the world's biggest emissions culprit. Despite a frosty relationship in recent months, China and the U.S. both signed an agreement this week, vowing to work together on climate change. To protect the environment is to protect productivity. And to improve the environment is to boost productivity. Russia's President Vladimir Putin, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson also spoke. Prior to the conference, Japan announced it's upping its goal to cut greenhouse gas emissions from 26 to 46 percent by 2030. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House.